Alright, so for this problem we're trying to find the magnitude of the force P and we are given the total length of the wire, the diameter of the wire, the deformation of the wire, and we are also given E. So the main formula we're going to use here is the deformation formula, which is PL over AE. And this can actually be rearranged to solve for P, which we're going to use in this case, which is P equals AE times the deformation over the total length L. So we have E, we have the total deformation, we have the total length L. So now we just need to solve for our area. And in this case, we're given our diameter. So we're going to use pi D squared over four for our, our area formula. And we're going to have pi times six millimeters squared over four. And solving for this, we're going to get that our area is equal to 28.27 millimeters squared. And so now it's just going to be plugging everything into this original formula here and solving. So get that P is equal to our area, 28.27 millimeters squared times E, which is 200 gigapascals times our deformation, which we are told is 20 millimeters in this problem. And then over our total length L, which in this problem we are told that that is nine meters. And since I put these two numbers in millimeters, I'm gonna put that in millimeters as well. So that would be 9,000 millimeters. Um, and so put it, plugging this into your calculator, you will get that P is equal to 12.6 kilonewtons. So really in this, form, in this problem, there's just one main formula that you're using, and it's just a matter of figuring out what you need to plug into that formula and then solving. And that's it for this problem.